Hey, this is Dean, your instructor for IDS 105. Um, this is my video for module number two. So this module, we're talking about equity, equality, justice, culture, and society. I find that a lot of students have a hard time understanding society and culture, so I thought I would talk a little bit about that, as well as um, some of the assignments for the week. So when we're talking about society, all we're talking about here is a collection of people who share a territory and a culture. Oftentimes society is associated with like a country or nation state, so oftentimes you'll hear about um, American society. So that's all we're talking about, all right? Collection of people in that territory. When we're talking about culture, right, we're talking about objects as well as the shared ways that people think and act within that society. Right? So again, way, shared ways they think and act in that society. I'll give an example of culture here in just a little bit. So your book links society and identity, right? And let me give an example of that. So there's a section in your textbook about isolated children. And when we're talking about isolated children are those youth who are stuck in a room for years on end with very little interaction with other individuals or society, right? And the big takeaway from that section is that when it comes to actually being a human as well as finding your own identity, those things happen only while interacting with other individuals and culture. The textbook calls this process by which identity is created socialization, right? So to become an accepted member of a society, you need to be socialized within it. So your book talks about linking identity with culture. And the idea is that if you encounter a new culture, it's going to impact your identity, maybe give you a new identity. So the textbook talks about eight elements of culture. So we're talking about values, beliefs, knowledge, and norms, as well as uh, behaviors, objects, symbols, and language. So let me give an example of that. So thinking about Bend, Oregon here where I live, when we're talking about values, there's the value of the outdoors, all right? Being outdoors. What's the associated knowledge? That being outdoors is good for your physical health as well as your mental health. What's an associated knowledge? You need to know how to perform your chosen activity, right? You also need to know where the best locations are to enjoy that activity. As for the norms, you must have a wintertime activity as well as a summertime activity that keeps you active all year round. Behavior, you gotta look the part. You gotta have the gear, you gotta have the appropriate uh, clothing as well too. Objects, you gotta have a garage that's full of all of your toys. All right, so all of your kayaks and paddle boards and snowshoes and mountain bikes and road bikes, all those sorts of things. Symbols, you gotta have the destination sticker, right? So all the places that you visited and enjoyed that activity. It could be local, it could be far away, all right? But you enjoy your activity somewhere all right, and you've got a bumper sticker on your car. And the last one is language. You gotta have stories, all right, about all your exploits while you are enjoying your activity, all right? One example might be river surfing, which is what we have here in the Deschutes River. So these eight elements of culture, all right, they exhibit and transmit culture. And the idea is that if you can find eight together that affirm one another, then you have identified some kind of 
subculture that will then create identity. So I don't think that this is a culture that is unique to Bend, Oregon. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere, other places that have a value of the outdoors, right? But this isn't a subculture that I encountered when I lived in Southern California. The book talks about avowed identity and ascribed identity. And the idea is that when you avow an identity, that means that you choose it yourself, you embrace it. An ascribed identity is an identity that others, right, give you. All right, so I both avow this identity, and I imagine that if my fellow Bendians looked in my garage and saw all my toys out there, they would say, oh yeah, this dude is a Bendian. So what does all this have to do with Jedi? J, social justice, E for equity, D for diversity, and I for inclusion. So over the years, um, Ben has put together a variety of agencies to combat exclusion and homogeneity. So for example, there's an organization in town that um, partners abled alpine skiers with the disabled alpine skiers. Um, the idea here is that um, the disabled skier needs greater resources, right, to enjoy the activity. So resource provision depends upon need. Uh, there's an organization in town that provides outdoor wilderness activities for youth who are members of families who have a history of not feeling safe in the outdoors, right? So the idea is no one should be excluded from an activity. And then lastly, there's just an agency in town here that sponsors mountain and road bike rides for retirees, so senior citizens. So the idea here again is whatever activity uh, you might see, you're gonna see the diversity of humanity enjoying that activity. So module two assignments, you have a warm up this week that's worth points, as well as the um, project draft um, and a variety of resources, including some nuts and bolts resources about things like using the library and templates. So speaking of templates, you're gonna use one of those um, for the module two project draft. So the next couple modules, you're gonna use that same draft, but you're just gonna complete those parts that are associated with that module. So when you look at the template this week, just answer those parts for module two, leave everything else alone. So you're gonna get feedback on that, as well as the other work you generate for the other um, modules. And then you'll be able to submit a final version for module seven, all right? Um, the final version you submit, module seven, is, only, is gonna be about three to five pages. So make sure that what you generate for this week, module two, is no more than a page and a half, all right? Lastly, make sure to check out the uh, scenario sheet because you need to choose one of the scenarios to help you complete that project draft. Enjoy the module. Yeah, right.